Mwana Yesu asifiwe. Chani tuombe. Our heavenly Father in the mighty name of Jesus. This morning we honor your name. We give all the glory and all the adoration unto you Jesus. Thank you this morning because of the gift of one another. Thank you because of who you are in our life. We come before your throne, Jehovah, seeking for your mercy. May you forgive us, Lord, every sin that we have committed, knowing and without knowing. Help us to be worthy. Cleanse us, Lord, that even as we represent ourselves before you with our worship and praises, that you may receive them. Thank you, Lord, this morning. We give all the glory and honor to your name. As we start, start this service, oh Lord, we pray that your presence be with us. We invite your Holy Spirit in our lives. We pray that, Lord, you may give us a new, a new day, a new dawn. The Lord Jesus Christ, that we may command this morning to bring our blessing unto our life. We thank you because of this day that you have given unto us. We rejoice in it. We thank you, Lord. Even them that have not reached and they wanted to be in this service, may you give them that time to come and worship with us together. We worship you, our Heavenly Father. Thank you because of your mercies and your grace that is always sufficient unto our life. We welcome you in a great and mighty way that you may do what no man can do in us. We release ourselves unto, unto you, my Father. May you heal the sick. May you deliver those who want to be delivered. May you revive someone. May you restore somebody who want to be restored. May you meet us according to our riches in glory in Christ Jesus. We thank you, Lord. At the end of it, we shall not fail to thank you. And this is our prayer. Trusting and believing in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.
Yesu makofi tunapoiba. Mere mere, 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 mere mere
Just give Jesus a joyful noise. He's a good God. Shangiria kwa Yesu. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus. We give all the glory and honor to your name. He's a good God to us. There is no God like him. We worship him this morning. We glorify you, Jehovah, for who you are. We worship you. We honor you, dear Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Tunakushukuru na tunakuwa bodo. 
Hakunariye kamawewe. Poki asiba heshima. Na utukufu. Wewe machina yote mazuri ni yako. Hakunariye kamawewe. Thank you Jesus. Machina yote mazuri ni yako. Hecheo. Tukushukuru na tukirinua jina lako takatifu maana wewe ndiye Mungu uishiaye milele. Tunasema ni asanti kwa maana umetupatia uhai. Tunasema ni asanti kwa maana umekuwa nasi usiku wote baba. Na umetupatia nafasi hii Jehova tuje mbele zako tukikushukuru na tukirinua jina lako. Tunasema ni asanti baba na hakuna Mungu mwingine kama wewe na hatuta, wala hatutakuweko. Father, we thank you. We say thank you, Jehovah, because of everything that you have done unto our lives, O oh Lord. We come before thee, Jehovah, so that, Father, you may have favor, that you may <coughs> be with us, King of our glory, that you may forgive our sins, Jehovah, which we have committed knowingly and unknowingly, Jehovah, King of our glory, so that, Father, we may be acceptable before thy throne of mercy, King of our glory. We thank you, Father, because... You are a gracious Father. You are a faithful Father, King of our glory. Father, as we come before thee, Jehovah, we pray that you may bless each one of us, O Lord, 
who has come to this sanctuary, King of our glory. And even for those who are purposing to come, O King of our glory, we pray, Father, that you are going to bless them. May you be with us, O Lord. May you bless each one of us, O Lord. We commit our families unto thy whole name, O King of our glory. We pray, God, that you may strengthen the foundation of the church, King of our glory, which is our families, King of our glory. We pray for each and every man who is around here, King of our glory. We pray for each and every woman who is around here, King of our glory. We pray for the children who are here, King of our glory. Because without you, King of our glory, we cannot make it, O Lord. May you reach each and every family which is represented here, King of our glory. May you bless them, O Lord. May you meet them at their points of needs, O Lord. Because you're worthy and everlasting, God. We thank you. We worship you, Lord. We are grateful because of our nation, Kenya, King of our glory. We pray, Father, that you are going to bless us, O Lord. That you are going, Father, to help our leaders, King of our glory. That you are going to give them wisdom that comes from above, O Lord. That, Father, they are going to lead this country, King of our glory, to uh, uh, great hate, O King of our glory, because you are worthy and everlasting, Lord. We thank you even for the various leaders who have been uh, nominated, who have been elected, who have been given the mandate, even at the grassroots level, all the way, Jehovah, to the nation, O King of our glory. May you continue guiding him. May you continue blessing them, O Lord. Thank you, King of our glory, because of our church. Thank you because of the way that you have been with us, O Lord. We pray, Father, that you may continue to strengthen each and every church where your people gather and call upon your name, O Lord. May you bless the leaders of various churches, King of our glory. And especially, King of our glory, we bring the Presbyterian Church unto thee, Jehovah. That, Father, you may bless us, O Lord. That you may bless even the, the highest uh, organ, King of our glory, which is the General Assembly, King of our glory. We pray, Father, that you are going to bless each and every uh, Presbytery, King of our glory. And especially the, the Redeka Presbytery, King of our glory. That we are going to bless all the parishes, King of our glory, and especially the Kenyatta Road Parish, King of our glory. That we are going to bless all the congregations, King of our glory, and especially the Goshen Congregation, King of our glory. May you bless the leaders. May you continue being with us, O Lord. The elders, King of our glory, may you bless them, O Lord. The group leaders, King of our glory, may you bless them, O Lord. The deacons, and each and every person who fellowships in this uh, church, King of our glory. We call upon thee, Jehovah, that you are going to give us wisdom, that you are going to give us your spirit, King of our glory, that we may worship in truth, King of our glory. We thank you. We worship you, Lord. Father, at this moment, we remember our chair, our elder, our Rotary King of our glory. We pray, Father, that you are going to bless him, O Lord, that you are going, Father, to heal him, O King of our glory. That you are going, Father, to touch him, O Lord, with your right hand, O Lord. That, Father, he is going to regain his strength once again because of the responsibility that you have bestowed upon him, O Lord. May you continue to bless him and even his family, King of our glory. Remember even uh, his sickly mother. We pray, God, that you are going to bless her also. That you are going to be with her and you are going to bless her. Even those, Father, who are not feeling well in, uh, among us, O Lord, may you also remember us, O Lord. Bless us and guide us, O Lord. As we start the service today, we call upon thee, Jehovah, that you are going to be with us, that you are going to walk with us, O Lord, that everything that will be done here will be done for the uh, glory of your name, O Lord. May you be with us, guide us, guide even the presentations that will, uh, that will be made. Even bless the preacher of our word today, Jehovah King of our glory because you are worthy and everlasting. For it is in Jesus' name we do pray and give thanks. Our Father, in the name of thy kingdom come, thy will come. As our, we forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptations, but us from evil. For thy is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Sifiwe? Wana sifiwe? 
butu pigie mungu makofi let us all rise so that we may have uh, our opening hymn our opening hymn is number 66 what a friend we have in jesus prosperity and not disaster plans to bring about the future you hope for wana sifiwe ah we can have our seats this time we want to have the presentations and we will start with the youth youth
that we may rejoice and be glad in it. I want to thank my God so much. This is the day that I was born, and that's why I've said I will stand here and thank God because of giving me another chance. Not only this, I, come, I wrote a song for my God to present before him, and I want it to be a cake for you. We share with our God together. Praise be to God. Because God is good. For so many years he has given me. And even today, that is the, this is the day that he has given me. That I may rejoice. Because of that day, long time ago, that he brought me in this world. And yet he has protected me. Praise be to God. And for, for that, mercy. Mercy, you can take care of song. Let us rejoice all together because of our Father, our Savior, our Master, and our Provider, our Protector. He has been so faithful to us. Oh, 
sa worship song. Tui besote.
Thank you, thank you, Rachel. May God bless you. All what we can say, happy birthday to you. Choir, your turn.
Okay, let us appreciate all those who have presented. Okay, this time we will have intimations and announcements by Elder Ken. Praise the Lord. Amen. We thank the Lord this morning for his goodness and grace and for giving us another opportunity to be here so that we can uh, worship together. As we said last Sunday, today we will have a very brief service because we need to go and join the parish and our ladies at PCA Kenyatta Road during the second service. And therefore, we want to, to be a bit faster today. And um, we want to welcome all of you to the Lord's Sanctuary this morning, and especially our first-time visitors. Do we have first-time visitors this morning? You've not fellowshiped with us before, and you're here with us today. Looks like we are all wenyeji, katika nyumba ya bwana in the name of the Lord. Today, we have PCMF that is on duty. And then the evangelism team will be on duty coming Sunday. The Boys and Girls Brigade is requesting parents to release their children to attend a crash training program that started yesterday, 12th August, to Saturday 19th uh, August, and they'll be starting 9, 8 a.m. every morning. This is in preparation for an assessment and inspection by na the national trainer, the Rebecca Presbytery, Madam Elizabeth Ndiko, and, um, and that will happen on the 19th of August. That is the, the, the assessment. It will happen on the 19th of August. Lunch and tea is provided for all the children and participants. So we are encouraged to let our children come here every 8 in the morning from tomorrow. They started yesterday. If you ask me yesterday, uh, please make sure that tomorrow we mekuja so that we can they, they can um, be trained. There will be a woman skilled co members commissioning today at PC Kenyatta Road Church, and the service will commence at 10 a.m. As I had said earlier, Trinity deacons are on duty today. Umoja deacons will be on duty coming Sunday, 20th. There shall be a wedding preparation meeting for Mr. and Mrs. Bernard Karaoke at their home in Chai Estate, Elementator Road, starting 5 p.m. today. We know the Mudondus, Mr. Karaoke and the Grace, while our Chai Estate, Arusia on your Sunday 27th, uh, they are there on the screen. And uh, today we are actually going to have their last meeting at PCA, at, at their home rather, and therefore we are all welcome to, to fellowship, I mean rather to have a meeting there in uh, preparation for this particular upcoming wedding. And we are requested that on that Sunday, after uh, we be there at Kenyatta Road, not to kuwa na service hapa, to kuwa pale Kenyatta Road, to, to kuwe kwa harusi, and then after that we go to for reception that will be in, um, is it Precious Blood? Yes, Precious Blood. Uh, up at Kenyatta Road. So, how watu ni wetu sana, wacha tuashikilie. And as a result, today was, we were supposed to have a meeting for Beth and John Motuko, and therefore we will have that coming Sunday, so it's good to be guided. I will read several marriage bands that are here, and these marriage bands we were supposed to read them on Sunday. So I am supposed to read them twice, twice. But because you are the same people who are here, I read once and say this is the first and the second reading. Okay? Kama ni pisi ya kitambo, tungesoma ni nyingi, tungesoma moja, tunamariza, tunayesoma tena. But now I will read only once. Marriage ban. There is purpose of registering and blessing of marriage between George Karioki Maina and Joyce Wajiro Karioki at PCA Kenyatta Road Church, Kenyatta Road Parish. 
If there's anyone present herein aware of any lawful impediment to this marriage, let him or her declare, declare it. If there's no val valid objection raised and substantiated, the wedding will be ceremonized on Sunday, 27th of August, at PCA Kenyatta Church, starting at 10 a.m. in the morning. This is the first time we are reading it, and also the second time on the 13th of August 2023. May Almighty God bless the marriage of his servants, yours in the Lord's service, Reverend Alfred Mugendi Kanga. Another one. There is purpose of registering and blessing of marriage between David Dedito Wagura and Monica Mudoni Jogona at PCA Kenyatta Road Church, Kenyatta Road Parish. If there is anyone present herein aware of any lawful impediment to this marriage, let him or her declare it. If there is no valid objection is raised and substantiated, the wedding will be ceremonized on Sunday, 27th of August, 2023, at PCA Kenyatta Road Church, starting 10 a.m. This is the first and the second time we are reading this, today, 13th of August, 2023. May Almighty God bless the marriage of his servants, yours in the Lord's service, uh, Reverend Alfred Mugendi Kanga. Marriage ban. There is purpose of registering and blessing of marriage between George Kioibudia and Lucy Waboikero of PCA Kenyatta Road Church, Kenyatta Road Parish. If there is anyone present herein aware of any lawful impediment to this marriage, let him or her declare it. If there is no marriage valid objection raised and substantiated, the wedding will be solemnized on Sunday, 27th of August 2023 at PCA Kenyatta Road Church starting 10 a.m. in the morning. This is the first and the second time we are reading this on the 13th of August, 2023. May the Almighty God bless the marriage of his servants. You are in the Lord's vineyard, Reverend Alfred Mugendi Kanga. Marriage ban. There is purpose of registering and blessing of marriage between Titus Wawe Rumo Irore and Elizabeth Wamboi Kenyodhi of PCA Kenyatta Road Church, Kenyatta Road Parish. If there is anyone present herein aware of any lawful impediment to this marriage, let him declare it. Let him or her declare it. If there is no valid objection raised and substantiated, the wedding will be solemnized on Saturday, 26th of August, 2023 at PCA Kenyatta Road starting at 10 a.m. in the morning. This is the first and the second time we are reading it today, 13th of August, 2023, may Almighty God bless the marriage of his servants, yours in the Lord's service, Reverend Alfred Mugendi Kanga. Another marriage ban, there is purpose of registering and blessing of marriage between Bernard Kariokimodo Odu and, P and Grace Wagari Kyogo of PCA Goshen Church, Kenyatta Road Parish. If there is anyone present herein aware of any lawful impediment to this marriage, let him or her declare it. If there is no valid objection raised and substantiated, the wedding will be solemnized on Sunday, 27th of August, 2023, at PCA Kenyatta Road Church, starting at uh, 10 a.m. 10 a.m. Today, this is the, second, this is the first and the second time we are reading it today, 13th of August, 2023. May Almighty God bless the marriage of his servants, yours in the Lord's service, Reverend Alfred Mugendi Kanga, Parish Minister, Kenyatta Parish. Another marriage ban. There is purpose of registering and blessing of marriage between Dixon Kadira Obonyo and Mwanarabu Mastani Ashali of PCA Kenyatta Road Church, Kenyatta Road Parish. If there's anyone present herein aware of any lawful impediment to this marriage, let him or her declare it. If there's no valid objection raised, the wedding will be solemnized on Sunday, 27th of August, 2023, at PCA Kenyatta Church, starting at 10 a.m. 
This is the first and the second time we are reading this. Today, the 13th of August, 2023. May Almighty God bless the marriage of his servants. You are in the Lord's service, Reverend Alfred Mugendi Kanga, parish minister. Another marriage ban. There is purpose of registering and blessing of marriage between Geoffrey Ngandongo and Jadi Dakani Niwabogo of PCA Bethany Springs Church, Kenyatta Road Parish. If there's anyone here, Rin, aware of any lawful impediment of this marriage, let him or her declare it. If there's no valid objection raised and substantiated, the wedding will be solemnized on Saturday, 26th of August, 2023 at PCEA Kenyatta Road Church starting at 10 a.m. This is the first and the second time we are reading this today, 13th of August uh, 2023. May Almighty God bless the marriage of his servants, yours in the Lord's service, Reverend Alfred Mugendi Kanga, parish minister. Another marriage ban. There is purpose of registering and blessing of marriage between Eric Kembi Moshomba and Christine Makena Kafuru of PCA Bethany Springs Church, Kenyatta Road Parish. If there is anyone present here in aware of any lawful impediment to this marriage, let him or her declare it. If there is no valid objection raised and substantiated, the wedding will be solemnized on Saturday, 26th of August, 2023 at PCA Kenyatta Road Church starting at 10 in the morning. This is the first and the second time we are reading this on the 13th of August, 2023. May Almighty God bless the marriage of his servants, yours in the Lord's service, Reverend Alfred Mugendi Kanga, Parish Minister, Kenyatta Road Parish. Those are the marriage bans that we had and other intimations. May God bless you. And then before I sit, let the children come here, we pray. Watoto wakuje tuombe. Children, children, come we pray. I'm happy today. In Jesus' name, I'm happy because we are sick and away. My sins are I'm happy, so happy. I'm happy today, so happy. Jesus' name, I'm happy because He has taken away my sins. Are I'm happy, so happy. Parents, let us stand. When a youth could join in my hour. Youth, just come behind the children. And the time to be happy is now. And the place to be happy is here. And the way to be happy is to make someone happy and to have a little down here. Ah. Uh, we want to to pray and uh, we first want to say the Apostles' Creed or what we believe in and because of time let me lead it today. I believe in God the Father Almighty Christ his only Son, our Lord who was conceived Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary suffered with the Pontius Pilate he was crucified, died and buried he descended and that day he rose again from the dead he ascended into heaven and is seated in the right hand of God of Almighty I believe in the Holy Spirit Let us pray. Father, we want to thank you this morning. We give you glory and honor for being together with us and giving us an opportunity to come to your house and to also come with our children. We want to pray for these young ones, dear Lord, that you may continue to bless them, 
We thank you for their lives, Jehovah. We thank you for uh, being with them throughout that last term that has passed. And dear Father, here they are enjoying their holiday. And we want to pray that dear Father, you're going to bless them, continue being with them, continue teaching them uh, your ways that they may follow. Even the very young ones, dear Lord, who are held by their parents and who may not know much, we pray for them, that you may bless them, that you may help them to grow in favor of God and men. We thank you even for our youths. They are the younger youths who are in high school. We are also here for their holidays. We pray for them, that you may bless them, that you may be with them. Even the older youths in colleges and out there working, we pray that, dear Father, you also bless them. And, dear Lord, help them to achieve the greatest that they can. And, dear Father, be their God and their guide. We thank you, Jehovah, and we worship you. We pray that, dear Lord, you will be with this young generation until, dear Father, they become what you, you have purposed for them. We thank you and we bless you even during these holidays. We pray that you be with us and them. And that, dear Lord, you may give us a good relationship at home and even here in church, even as we look forward to uh, enjoying our time together with our children. Thank you and we bless you for this is our prayer of faith. In Jesus' name, our Lord and Savior. Amen. May God bless you. So we are going to hear the readings for today. The first and the second reading. Our first reading will come from the book of Isaiah. And the third reading will come from the book of Philippians. The readers will say their names. Praise God. Praise God again. Our first reading from the book of Isaiah, chapter 40, verse 28 to 31. And it says, Do you not know? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He will not grow tired or weary, and, and his understanding no, no can fathom. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of, of the weak. Even youths grow tired and weary, and young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and, and not grow weary. They will walk and, and not be faint. The word of the Lord. I who was reading, I am Gelvis Minor. Praise God. Praise God again. The second reading will come from Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 to 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your heart and your minds in Christ Jesus. Thank you for the leaders. And now we are going to have our preparatory hymn, hymn number 381. You can all start.
Zaidi ya hayo na mpenda Yesu wakuwa aliniokoa nikiwa mtu ambaye alikuwa anatafuta alinipata nikiwa mtu ambaye anatafuta uh, peace you know seeking for peace in a life that we live today in this world a life full of turmoil a life full of instances of discouragement and even processes of discouragement happenings of discouragement and god so it fit that i be his son known to him even before i was born just like he had told jeremiah ya kwamba alimjua hata kabla hajaumbwa kwenye tumbo la mamai and so the question is are we discouraged are we in a position that we feel discouragement is all around us when you listen to news news about a father hacking his two sons to death when you listen to news nations rising against nations and making the world economy go down the ukraine and russian situation we have today in the world are you or have you heard and got discouraged that people in lamu in tana river are dying because of terrorists are you feeling like your world is crumbling because of the economic situation that we are facing as a country your business is not doing good and are you also discouraged that we have democratic governments that are being overthrown like we have in the case of niger and in our situation do you feel discouraged when you will not be able to go to work because there is pandamano somewhere in nairobi 
you get discouraged when our leaders would not talk to each other and they are talking at each other. They are just shouting. They are just, you know, champ thumping, chest thumping. It is quite discouraging, isn't it? Quite discouraging. You feel like you are lost in a world. We could even be having the many social media obscene scenes that we see on Twitter, on Facebook, and even in Instagram. People who do not feel like it is good to talk about God, and they feel like it is good to talk against God, to even downplay his might and his peace and his mercy. We've seen all this in the world today. We've been surrounded by people who will talk negative about our lives and our future. Situations come when you can't meet your bills on time and you're threatened, you'll be thrown out of a house or your business will be closed because you have not paid rent. This is the situation we are facing in. We are in today. We are facing as a country and not only Kenya, the world over where everybody is preaching negativity and there is no positivity or the voice of positivity is not being heard as it should be. This is the situation that the Israelites found themselves in in the times of Isaiah when uh, they were in captivity and God was trying to bring them back to uh, trusting him because they felt like God had gone away from them. In fact, if we read, if we have read from uh, Isaiah 40, 28 to the end, that is 30 verse. verse. But there before, on, in verse 27, uh, it is reading Israel. Why then do you complain that the Lord doesn't know your troubles or care if you suffer injustice? It is a situation whereby Israelites were complaining that God doesn't mind about them anymore, that God has forgotten them. The God they knew was their father, the God they knew who had promised them a lot and a great nation. He had said they will become. It is a situation whereby even today we would relate to. But God, through his grace, is telling us today, like he told the Israelites those days because his word is alive each day and every hour, every minute. It is not the word of those times. It's the word of this minute. And when God is speaking to us, he is telling us he is an everlasting God. He never ceases to be. He is always present. He is with us now. He is with you in your situation. He is with us even when our kids are not playing the game as it should be. He is with us in every situation. He is a God who is always there for us. And so, he's advising us not to get tired. Man can get tired with you. If you came to my door, knock today, knock tomorrow, and the other day, I will wear out, seeking to be assisted as a man I trust I wouldn't stand the situation, or rather that situation better than God because I'm also going through disturbing situations or situations of lack. And so a friend will even promise knowing well that he does not intend to do what he's promised. That she does not even have the ability to give a solution. But because this friend would want to kind of make you feel comfortable, ata kudanganya, ata kuambia na natukutane, na tuende, kukutane, mwezi ujao. Na ikifika wakatu ata pengine simu haitakuwa ina patikana, ata kuwa ni mteja. But God never gets tired with us. Our God can't. He's an all-understanding God. A God who will listen to you even at times when you have abused him, 
you have done all the bad things that you can imagine. He's a God that you can go back to and he will be waiting for us to forgive us and to take us into the next level. The word also tells us that he is a God who is ready to strengthen us in all situations. When we are down and weak, he will increase our strength. And our strength will go beyond our imagination. The imagination that we have, it is even, it says that even those who are young grow weak. Young people can be exhausted. But God will never get exhausted. The strength that he's going to give us. But those who trust in the Lord for help find, will find their strength renewed. They will rise up like wings, like on wings, like eagles. They will run and get tired. They will learn and never get weary. This is the promise you're getting from God. This is just a season. Whatever you're going through is for a season. If you can look back at your life, look back and see from where God has brought you, he has brought you from very deep pits. And he has given you strength to be alive today. All we need to do is keep our hope in him at all times so that we can tap this help. We can only keep our eyes focused, our minds focused, our hope on him. We shall never get tired the moment we focus on God. We shall never get weary if we focus on God and trust Him, if we believe in His Word, if we believe in His promises, if we believe in what you have not even seen, that is, if we had faith enough to say that my tomorrow will be better. I will not be in this situation tomorrow because I serve a living God. <clears throat> and so, that is the situation we shall be in when he speaks of, we shall soar to greater heights. Your business will grow. This is just an experience that you may trust him more and more. Because in a short while he's coming to make you even greater. It is a situation that you could be going through. And God is taking you through. Or is allowing that. Just like he allowed Job to go through such situations. But at the end, there was victory for Job. At the end, there will be victory for us. So we are told in Philippians then to rejoice in the Lord always. And it reminds us that he is again not far. He is near. And he's telling us not to be anxious about anything. Not to be anxious about anything. We should never be discouraged. Because he knows you by name because he knows you that thought that is in your mind that prayer that is in your heart the even the unspoken prayer is what God understands best only if you believe in him only if you trust him only if you take your burdens to him he is a God who will take you and cleanse you. He is a God who will lift off the burdens from you. He is a God who will bless you. He is a God who will keep you away from harm. And that is what he's telling us this man, minute. And we have a great promise to a great future in John 3.16 for all who believe in Jesus Christ. Because this is what God can do. He can even give his son, and he did give his son, so that he can die on that cross for our sins. Such that if we believe he is Lord, who came, the Messiah who was sent into this world to save us, that if we may look upon him, that if we may trust him, we must trust his ways and we tell him to take our hands to walk with us, then we shall become victorious. We shall win 
because he is a God of winning ways. He never loses. Our God will never lose any battle. We shall be winners with him. He shall lead us to greater heights and greater prosperity and greater peace. Peace that we may never find and we can never find anywhere in the name of our Father we understand this in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ we understand this and through the Holy Spirit we get guided day in day out in Jesus name that's the word for today may God bless you as you go out, meet you on Sunday. Na mungu awatende mema. Discouragement ije katika jina la Yesu Christo. Amen. So thank you, Elder, for the word. We are not discouraged. We will not be anxious because we have assurance from the word. So this time, we want to, to give our tithes, offerings, and thanksgiving, and we will be guided or we will be led by Elder Ken Kedinji. Praise God once again. Thank you very much, Elder, for such an encouraging sermon this morning. We want to, to give our tithes and offerings, so for those of us who have tithes, please come to the altar so that we pray. We can be all upstanding. Just mama. Anybody with tithes, their tithes, they can come. Is there anyone else? Okay. Yeah, even Thanksgiving. It's okay. So, let us pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we want to thank you. We give you glory and honor for this time that you've given us uh, again. We know that, dear Lord, you've just spoken to us and encouraged us. And this morning, we come to your house not empty handed like you have ordered us, but we've come with thanksgiving, with tithes and offerings. Our sisters here and my brother, dear Lord, they are here for their, with their uh, tithes and with their thanksgiving. Dear Lord, we want to pray that you may bless them, bless their, their giving, bless whatever they get resources from. Dear Lord, may you bless their going out and their coming in. May the, the, the offer, uh, I mean the tithes and thanksgiving they are bringing be a good um, fragrance unto you, dear Father. And we pray that, dear King in glory, uh, you will bless them, you will bless their families, you will bless their children, you will bless um, wherever they work and whatever they do to earn a living, that, dear King in glory, you will make them prosperous. Even the rest of us, dear Lord, who have come with our offering, as we come here in front to bring it to your house, we pray that you bless us and be with us. For this is our prayer of faith in Jesus' name, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Aya, offering to let hapa ili to end kama to maliza wale wanalipa online ikopale kwa pebil tumeza pewa wimbo moja as we we bring our offering. Kuchukuru Wengine sijui Hilo mimi mbona Umeni tene Mwana Nimeru ndi tene Yesu Na kushukuru Wengine sijui Hilo mimi mbona Umeju wa umeni Thank you. 
Lord, we thank you again for this offering that your people have brought. There are those of us who have given online. There are those of us who brought cash. Dear Lord, we want to bless ourselves and we pray that, dear Father, this offering will be separated from other ordinary use that will be used for the furtherance of your kingdom uh, and preaching of your gospel here at Goshen and beyond. We thank you, dear Lord, for the jobs we do, our places of employment, our businesses, our farms. We want to bless that you have to bless us ourselves, O oh Lord, that we will be able to harvest hundredfold. So that in glory we can be getting something to bring to you and to have it in our lives to bless ourselves and others. We thank you today, dear Lord, even as we go out, for those of us who will go to Kenyatta Road and those of us who will go to other, for other engagements. We pray that, dear Lord, you may disperse us with your peace, that you may walk with us, that you may bless us. Bless this week, dear Lord, those of us who will travel far, those who will be around. Lord, everything we will do will do to the glory and honor of your name. May you walk with us, may you go with us. For this is our prayer of faith in Jesus' name, our Lord and Savior. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with us now and forevermore. Amen. May God bless you. May God be with you. Amen. We have come to the end of the service. The leader for today was David Maina. And I love the Lord as my personal savior. From the the desk, the youth's desk, the chairman says all the youths to be left behind because of the competitions that are coming soon. So I wish you all the best. Have a, a blessed week and may God bless us all. Praise and worship. Give us. Kushukuru, wengine sijui ila mimi bwana nimejua umenitende